You know, it's wild to think that before Emmy Noether, the universe was kind of like, well, hiding its secrets. We could see the patterns, sure, but the why behind them, the deep connections to the laws of physics, that was way more mysterious. Yeah, scientists had observed these consistent behaviors for centuries, energy conservation, for example. But Noether, she's the one who really cracked the code. She showed us the why, the underlying link between the elegant symmetries of the universe and these fundamental unchanging principles. It's like for every sameness we see in the cosmos, there's a corresponding, like a fundamental quantity that always stays the same. It's mind blowing. Absolutely. And that's exactly why we're diving deep today into the life and work of Emmy Noether, this brilliant mathematician who, quite frankly, changed the way we understand the universe. Mm. We've got some amazing sources that really unpack her journey and the mind boggling impact of her theorem. It's going to be a wild ride, folks. Our mission today is to not just, you know, grasp the theorem itself, but to truly understand the context in which it emerged, the personal struggles another faced, the intellectual brilliance that allowed her to make this revolutionary connection that still shapes modern science. It's a big story. So let's rewind the clock back to late 19th century Germany. Imagine a young Emmy Nether growing up with math as like the family business. Her dad was a mathematician. You can almost picture her, can't you? A kid totally drawn to the world of numbers and equations. And it's so important to remember the backdrop here. We're talking about a time when opportunities for women, especially in academia, were incredibly limited. The prevailing belief was that higher education, especially in something as complex as mathematics, was just, well, not for women. Our sources really highlight the huge obstacle she faced just because she was a woman. It was this deeply ingrained bias, this idea that women were intellectually capable of advanced studies. Just think about the courage it took for her to even attend university lectures. She was essentially unwelcome. It was a real act of defiance. To persist in that environment where your very presence is questioned speaks volumes about her conviction, her belief in the power of knowledge, and her own intellectual worth. And it wasn't as simple as just like, applying. No, she had to convince each professor individually to let her sit in on their lectures. And even then, they wouldn't formally enroll her or let her earn a degree at first. It's heartbreaking when you think about all the potential breakthroughs we've probably missed out on throughout history because of this kind of prejudice. Seriously, how many brilliant minds have been silenced or ignored simply because of who they were, not what they were capable of? It's a sobering thought. But in Nevither's case, her brilliance couldn't be ignored forever. Despite everything thrown at her, she excelled. And finally, in 1907, she earned her doctorate in mathematics. It's a testament to her just extraordinary intellect that she broke through those barriers, however grudgingly they were moved. It's a huge achievement, mm -hmm. but it's important to remember that a doctor didn't magically make everything equal. Academia still wasn't ready to fully embrace her. Right. For years, Emmy Noether, a gifted researcher, was denied paid teaching positions. She was making groundbreaking contributions, but her gender was basically holding her back. One source describes it like a river carving through rock, this constant pressure against seemingly unmovable resistance. It's a powerful image. It perfectly captures that spirit of determination, that refusal to be held back. It was blatant discrimination. Her lack of compensation had nothing to do with her abilities and everything to do with the prejudices of the time. And it's a stark reminder of how bias, how prejudice can stifle progress and hold back scientific advancement. Absolutely. But then, of course, comes Noether's theorem, the moment her genius truly shines through. This is the big one for our listeners. Can you give us a sense of just how revolutionary this idea was? I mean, this deep connection she made between the symmetries we see in nature and the fundamental laws that govern it all. It was groundbreaking. No other's theorem, it essentially revealed this fundamental mathematically provable link between two seemingly unrelated concepts, symmetry and conservation. Okay, break that down for us a bit. Think of symmetry as those things in a system that stay the same, even when you change them in some way. Like a snowflake, it looks the same if you rotate it 60 degrees, that's symmetry. Got it. Symmetry is about things staying the same even after a change. Exactly. Now, conservation laws, they're about quantities that remain constant over time. Like the total energy in a closed system, it always stays the same. What Noether did was prove that these weren't just independent ideas. They were deeply fundamentally connected. So like one explains the other. More like they arise from each other. Every continuous symmetry in nature, Noether showed, corresponds to a specific conservation law. And vice versa, every conservation law we observe comes from a fundamental symmetry. Whoa. 
Okay, so give us a real world example. Sure. Take the laws of physics. They seem to be the same no matter where you are in space. That sameness across space, that's a symmetry. Noether's theorem tells us this directly implies the conservation of momentum, that inherent push of motion, it always stays the same in a closed system. So because the laws of physics are consistent throughout space, momentum must always be conserved. Precisely. And it works the other way around too. The laws of physics also don't seem to change over time. That sameness across time, that's another symmetry. And that leads to the principle of the conservation of energy. It's this like mind-blowing unity, right? This underlying connection in the very fabric of reality. Exactly. And that's what another D revealed. This elegant mathematical proof that demonstrated a deep interconnectedness that runs through everything. It completely changed how physicists understand the universe at its most basic level. It's almost impossible to overstate the impact of this one theorem. You're right. It really is one of the most significant findings in the history of theoretical physics. And it's been absolutely crucial to the development of fields like quantum mechanics and Einstein's theory of relativity. But as we all know, history took a dark turn with the rise of Nazi Germany. And this directly threatened others' life and work. It did. The political climate was extremely oppressive. And as a Jewish woman with liberal views, she was in real danger. We can't forget the broader context here. This was a regime built on hate and persecution, and it targeted intellectuals like Nodia, specifically. It's a tragic chapter in human history, the way that so many brilliant minds were silenced or forced to flee. And in 1933, she was forced to leave Germany. Just imagine for a moment having to abandon everything you've worked for, your home, your community, just because of this horrific ideology. It's just devastating to think about. The trauma of forced exile can't be overstated. To be uprooted like that, to lose your connections and your life's work, it's a profound loss. And for someone like Nother, at the peak of her intellectual powers, it must have been incredibly difficult. It was. But even in exile, her passion didn't fade. She came to America and found a new position at Bryn Mawr College. It's truly inspiring that she was able to keep going, to keep doing what she loved, and even inspire a new generation of students. It speaks to her resilience, her dedication to knowledge. It really does. But tragically, her time in America was cut short. She passed away in 1935 from complications after surgery. It was a huge loss for the scientific community. To lose someone of her caliber, so much potential, it's just heartbreaking. It really underscores how precious time is and how much we can lose when brilliance is extinguished too soon. Absolutely. But her legacy, as our sources make clear, continues to have this powerful impact. Her theorem remains a cornerstone of physics and math. And her courage, her determination, it's a huge inspiration, especially for women in STEM fields. You can't overstate her importance. Yeah. Nother's theorem is this amazing testament to her genius. And her story, it shows us that brilliance can overcome prejudice. She paved the way for so many women in science, proving that intellectual ability knows no gender and can overcome even the most difficult societal barriers. So stepping back, what are the big takeaways for us, for our listeners? What can we learn from Emmy Noether's life? There's so much. The sheer, uncontainable nature of true brilliance, for one. Mm. The power of challenging the status quo, of pushing boundaries. And it really makes you think about the potential that might be hidden within each of us. Exactly. Noether's journey reminds us that we need to recognize and nurture talent in all its forms, regardless of societal biases. True progress often comes from those who question assumptions and push the boundaries of what's considered acceptable. So for you, our listener, think about what Nother's perseverance means to you. What does her story tell us about the value of education and the impact of original thinking? Where are you encountering limitations in your own life? They might not be as overt as gender discrimination, but they might be there nonetheless. How can you cultivate that same unwavering focus and passion in pursuit of your own goals and dreams? Nother's found this incredible order, this symmetry in the universe. What about in our own lives? Maybe it's about recognizing the patterns of success, the things that consistently bring us fulfillment. It's about identifying those things that work, the approaches that lead to positive outcomes. Maybe that's how we uncover our own unique potential and purpose. One source describes life as this complex equation that we, each of us, have the power to solve. It's a powerful image. It is. It emphasizes that we're not just passive bystanders. We have the power to analyze our situations, to identify the key factors, and to make choices that shape our outcomes. We have agency. So what are your constants? What are the unchangeable truths in your life? 
And what are the operations, the actions you can take to solve your own unique equation? And just as Norther's work showed us that the most profound truths aren't always obvious, what about you? What might you be overlooking in your own life? What potential might be waiting to be uncovered? What assumptions are you holding on to that might be limiting your vision? What passions or talents are you neglecting? What if those hold the key to something truly amazing? Think about the symmetries in your own journey, those patterns of growth, the challenges and triumphs that seem to repeat. What can you learn from them? What fundamental truths about yourself do they reveal? Just like Noether's theorem revealed fundamental truths about the universe, maybe these patterns hold the key to understanding ourselves better. Let Emmy Noether's story be the catalyst for your own transformation. It's like building a mathematical proof, each step carefully leading to the next. Your life, your journey, it's the same. It's a process of constant learning and growth, refining our understanding, moving towards our goals, one step at a time. And your actions today, they can create ripples that extend far beyond what you can see right now. Just like Noether's work changed the world, you have that same potential within you. It's about recognizing that even small actions can have big consequences. So as we wrap up this deep dive, remember, you are the mathematician and the solver in the grand scheme of your life. You have the power to define your own principles, to discover your own unique theorem for living a fulfilling life. So what will your theorem be? What enduring truth will you uncover through your actions? What impact will you have on the world? Take that first step, be bold, and let Emmy Noether's story inspire you to make your mark on the universe. Go out there and make it happen.